my main relationships within the play are with uh, Nina and Irina. And so both of these women, and this is really what the play's about, both of these women stir him up in a big way. Mm. And he's going through a sort of a crisis, in my opinion, an artistic and sort of an early midlife crisis. And uh, these women are, they speak to different needs within him and different vulnerabilities. Mm. And he's sort of very much tossed on those seas, is the way it feels to me. Mm. Boris is rather interesting in that everyone thinks he's very confident and together and um, successful. But that's not the experience, that's not what he feels like. John's version of it is very exciting and it's always because it's so immediate and so colloquial and a lot, a lot of times with Chekhov. You have a barrier because you've got a sort of formalised, sometimes over-intellectualised academic writing style that's more interested in what the Russian men and how people speak today. And John cuts straight through that. So John's play is really immediate and really raw and interesting and Gutsy. Before the play starts, that person will be Arena, um, because Boris covets and loves her for her poise and ease and grace and confidence. And as that play develops, that person becomes actually at one point Masha, and then that then that person becomes Nina. I think at some points it's maybe even be might become Constantine. The way I work is I, I find out by doing it, essentially. I don't know the answers to things until... You, you, you find out from the other actors, you find out from doing the play with the other actors in the room.